So I'm at the Biological Island Pinnacle bus station trying to catch up with the driverless bus in Guangzhou. Let's see if I'll be lucky to get one or catch up with one. Wow, that's it. Mm. It's full. It is full, man. It's free. No one is paying. Nobody drives this bus. Look here, this is the front. Nobody drives this bus. No touching, no touching. It is driverless, it goes by itself. And every seven minutes it goes. Now let's look at the interior deco. Look here. Yeah, 19 kilometers per hour. Look. Look at the interior deco. This is unbelievable. People are in sitting down. Five people in holding me. Look around. This is unbelievable. China has really developed. One and a half and six. This table is for you. Mm. Okay. Welcome to the autonomous bus. So this is a new autonomous bus in China, and it's free. It's driverless. It's free. Look. Going. Nobody drives it. Goes by itself. If there is traffic, to stop. Wow. This is a country for the people to live in. Don't forget, you can get this autonomous bus just when you exit from Guangzhou metro station, exit A and exit B. You just get this one. Autonomous bus. It's free, you don't need to pay. And the moment you exit from Guangzhou metro station, you will find yourself in the bio or the biological island. Yeah. Well developed amusement park for the citizens of China. It's unbelievable. I'm surprised today. Wow. Just look. This is purely technology. What we call technology. Just look here. Inside the bio. Very serene environment. Very clean. 
Okay. If someone wants to drop here or alight here, press and can. So we are waiting. Very clean. The moment you sit in, you can carry fast in your seat belt. Nope. I've been mirror. But nobody controls it or drive this one. And it is not only this place that you can find this autonomous bus. They have four different stations, but this one is the free one. The rest you need to pay. The rest you need to pay. This one is the free one. Just look at the environment. I'm enjoying myself today. Just look inside the autonomous bus. So it goes round, it goes round inside the bio, uh, biological island. So I took, I bought it from the Guangzhou Metro and it would take me to Guangzhou Metro Station back to my destination. Wow, unbelievable. Look, they are also drawing it. Nobody controls it. That's unbelievable. Someone is also coming to join. Wow. This is technology. Hi. Hello? Can you speak Chinese? Uh, a little, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Jelly Hawa, Jenda, and Ganjin did be fun. Do it. What did you like jelly? Can't can. Do it. For Jeda. It's just free. You don't need to pay anything. Wow. I think the government has really done well for the people of China. Because if you have this in a country whereby you don't need to pay, by yesterday you can refresh yourself, at least that is a share of the national asset or property or the taxpayer money. So it applies to them. I think Chinese people are fortunate to have good leaders like this, unlike some Western countries and most especially Africa whereby leaders go for money, they don't use it to embark on developmental projects. That's very bad, but this one I think the government of China has really done well. So, I'm about to get down from this autonomous bus and I recommend it to anyone coming to China or living in China to just come to the Bio biological island, island and have a try. It's free, it's just free for both foreigners and locals, that is the Chinese citizens. And the security here is top notch, CCTV cameras, security guards everywhere. We are about to get down. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, so this was my seat though. Mm, yeah. See people are waiting. Get in. Wow. I need to get down. 
Very good. So this is the bus. Oh, let's see. Thank you. Oh. People taking pictures for the bus. That's great. Unbelievable. Wow, so that is a bus for you. By the government of China. Looks so beautiful, classy, and it's more than technology itself. <laughs>